Oh boy, here we are. It's Talladega. Ooh boy, you know how I feel about these if you've seen any of my videos before. Super speedways. Roaring good time. Gonna go ahead and qualify. This is actually the first race of the week for A Fixed, which is where we are right now. Just happened to be what was next. I'm not out here trying to get a high strength of field race or anything, but I am gonna hope that because this is a high strength of field, guys won't wreck every corner? That's never been true before, but you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna hope. Let me have dreams, please. Um, so I'm gonna try to just stick near the front. I'll see if I can qualify decently. Most of the time people don't qualify. So we'll see if uh, I can qualify maybe mid-pack or higher. Green flag, green flag. And, uh, okay. I'll just hold my low line the whole time, probably. And uh, just see if I can be in front of whatever mess is going on. Um, at the very least, we're 26th length, it's top split, probably like 4,000 strength of field or something. I mean, we got some, we got some, uh, high-ranked guys in here, and all that. First race of the week, so of course. Um, but, I don't know. I'm gonna not set my expectations too high. get a decent finish and not have to worry about coming back to a fix this week. One more. All right, let's uh, see if we can make this a decent lap. Hold it the bottom. Not too close to the bottom. Yeah, let go of the wheel, kind of exiting. Now, try not to touch the wheel as much as possible down the back straight so you're not dragging anything. And let the car naturally roll to the bottom here in turn three. Keep it as close to the bottom as possible. Gonna be faster, so who knows where we're gonna be? I basically hit qualifying as soon as was possible, so we'll see where we are. Um, not gonna matter too much. I'm gonna hug the bottom, so I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping. I guess I'll keep driving. Um, I'm hoping that'll be uh, an odd number, so I can just be right down there from the start. Just hope that I survive, I and mean, there's nothing you can do but hold the hold your line, really, so. Oh, are those two guys brothers or something? Champagne? I don't know. Oh, I know a third as a 26 car. I'm sure guys are like, oh god. Uh, big field. At least 31, it looks like. Judging by that guy's car number. So, that's a thing. This is all just, you know, Las Vegas was last week, but uh, the real roll of the dice is this week. It's just a gamble. It's just, you know, pull the arm of the slot machine and hope you don't get three wrecks in a row. That's all it is. I mean, I did practice, quote-unquote. I mean, that's just getting out here making sure my uh, force feedback feels good and making sure I can still hold the line, which I can do just fine. Double touch. I mean, there's nothing to it. Uh, we're actually going to be kicked out here immediately. 
got my Ted Drews car. Is this my first, uh, I think this is my first A race on the channel. Because the other one I did was Daytona and I qualified pole, led every lap, and then finished first. And it was just so boring. It was a really low strength of field race. I think I was ranked number one, too. And no guys knew how to get past the air bubble, so, um, it was just nothing. Nothing happened the whole time. So I didn't upload it. So, um... I guarantee this one will be more interesting just because guys are going to know how to make passes, how to establish the outside line, and uh, probably going to be Rex too because we got, um, <laughs> let's see how many people, 31 is the highest number, that's probably how many people are in here, right? 32, 32, so we got 32 people who think they can win this thing, so, and uh, realistically, we got 32 people that can win this thing. You just gotta be in the right place at the right time and not the wrong place at the wrong time. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Be the guy that can hold your line and you can, you can do anything in this world. So. Okay. Qualified third. Um, how many people put laps in? Um, 15 people. That's more than I would have thought. So I guess I know how to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at the chat. Um, Dale Earnhardt in here can see the air. Um, so I guess I know how to qualify at a super speedway. <laughs> Don't touch the wheel as much as possible. That's uh, that's how hard it is. The way to be fast is touch the wheel as yeah, little as possible. <laughs> so, that is what that is. Um... People get weird at super speedways for whatever reason, so be aware of that. Um, I think I got chat turned off, so yeah, I'll turn it on and then turn it back off once we realize they're being weird. But uh, it can be good to hear what they're saying, calling out Ricks and things, so we'll have it on. The thoughts and opinions of other drivers do not express the opinions of this company. Blah, 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 blah. So we'll go with that. We need to start in first gear. That's ugly. Man. Fine. Yeah, I was back. Do you know where Ford went to India has gone yet? No, I haven't heard. I so, just we'll uh, find maybe get shuffled back if you know, the outside line figures out how to get past or whatever. You know, you We're probably going to be pushed all over. On one hand, <laughs> this is super nerve-wracking racing. On the other hand, it's just yeah, you have to accept overall, it is what it is. And accept that, most XPP. likely, whatever's going to happen to you is not going to be in your control at all. So, we got people leaving? Alright, let me stop going That's these Americans here. Interesting. They got, they got um, a lot of inflate. That was a manual disconnect, too, so they didn't lose connection, I don't think. Maybe they were having really bad connection issues, and so they just left. I don't know. That's interesting. It's a weird uh, restart zone, start zone here, because of where the start-finish line is placed. So you've got uh, the pole sitter, or whoever's in the lead at the time, as the control car for a while. So, things can get weird sometimes, depending on how they About choose to, to approach it. We'll just have to be ready for whenever he decides to pull the trigger. Cow power. Back I don't have a shot. Do I want to be in first gear? Now's was a great time to ask that, isn't it? If I wanted to be interested. Whatever. That's fine. Outside. I don't think it really made much of a difference. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Checking the wild already. I'm just gonna chill right here. Bye bye, I'm sorry. Are they wrecking already? So here's a message to anyone that wishes they were out of the lower splits, you know, out of the low strength of fields and everything. 
it doesn't get much cleaner when you get up here, I promise you. You just get more people that think uh, they're number one, <laughs> so they make these dangerous moves all the time. So, I think the reason for the accidents changes, you know, at the bottom it might be, you know, just people learning. At the top it's because people think they know everything. <laughs> Is that a little harsh? Maybe. I don't know. But it's people uh, being heroes, and when you get 32 heroes in one race, you know, it just doesn't mix, right? Not every car can win, so... It's just not gonna happen. And uh, so you get lots of wrecks still. I'm hoping, like I said, qualifying, that this time it's just a little different. Nope. 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 <laughs> well, I was saying, I was hoping that uh, this one would be a little different because I feel like the strength of field is going to be very strong here, probably 4,000 plus. And you maybe guys line. can Go hold their line. But it does not look like it. It looks like we crashed on lap two. And that's why, one of the reasons, I wanted to qualify. Because I felt like guys can hold their line well enough that they're not going to try to be winning it on lap one, and I'll be in front of the accidents that happen. And so far, that theory has proved true. Just counting down those laps, man. I'm just going to be looking at that lap counter. Enjoying every lap that I survive. Letting that number get higher. Um, even if it's pacing, it's another lap that I didn't get taken out, so... No, it's probably not too late, but I'm in VR and I'm not going to be tight enough to start it. Oh, you fancy him, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So now we get some awful pace laps because we're on a 2,000 mile track. So we're going to be pacing for an hour and a half. I am not going to pit at any point in this race. I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't need tires. It's, I mean, it's super speedway racing and this track surface is so smooth and it's just so easy to hold your line and stuff. There's no reason for tires at all. Track position, I'm just gonna keep it as much as I can. Try to stay in front of the messes. Please be two to go already. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Get this over with as soon as possible. And uh, I encourage you to not suffer this purgatory I'm stuck in and go ahead and use the chapters on the video to uh, skip to green flag because you're not gonna miss anything, I guarantee you. Oh god, I hope you don't miss anything, because if something happens during pacing, then it's never going to be a good thing, so... Oh god. <laughs> I hope nothing happens, but probably not. I'm probably going to sit here and drink tea and wait for green flag again. Gotta have a nice drink while you're doing a super speedway. Especially if you're going to be yapping like me. Blah, 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 blah complaining about super speedways gotta have a nice refreshing drink so you can keep on complaining <laughs> got my uh, kinda briefly mentioned it before my Ted Drew's paint scheme it's kinda ugly I'm gonna be honest but that's what the packaging for Ted Drew's is Ted Drew's is a local St. Louis uh, frozen custard place it's kinda like a family place and uh, I, saw, I found a uh, paint scheme for it on trading paints and I was like hey I know that and so it's kind of cool to represent something that's kind of a local thing even if it's a weird yellow green abomination <laughs> that's what their branding looks like so I get to be the highlighter car maybe people will notice me and not uh, cut me off or something <laughs> and, uh, that'd be nice but you know my spotter will never lose me and if we do a night race, I'll probably glow in the dark. All positives. Be blinding people as I'm driving by. So. One to go, coming up, coming at you. 
one to green. It'll be like we're starting right over, but instead it's going to be a, uh, what, 30 lap race? Taking them off, one lap at a time. Another lap we've survived. One to go, next time by, line up on the inside. Go ahead and do uh, second gear this time because it seems like you don't uh, have much room to work with from first gear. You, just, you hit. You have to shift too quickly, so I don't know if that's much of a benefit. Didn't seem like it was to me anyway, so we'll see how it goes this time. If it's any worse, I'll switch right back. But I mean, restarts are kind of whatever here anyway because you're just going to end up stuck together drafting in a pack anyway so doesn't doesn't really matter too much I mean as the leader you almost don't want a good start you almost want to kind of get a crawling start because if you jump out to a, like if you catch them sleeping and you jump out front then they're just gonna draft up from behind you and then they'll have a massive run on you so you don't even really want a good jump oddly enough so that's a thing as of right now, the 26 car in third place. See if that lasts. Thinking uh, qualifying was the way to go. But we'll see if I feel that way at the end. That's just the conclusion I've come to over time. Uh, because even if you want to sit in the back or something, you still sometimes have to dodge your wreck right in front of you. You can't lose the draft because if it goes green, then you're just you're done. You're done for. And uh, the arrow package and this cup car, it's very easy to lose the draft. So About to go green. I'm gonna Stay skip all that good. and just go ahead and uh, just try to stay in front of it instead. Keep an eye on cow power. The pace car is off. Be ready. Shit for his jump. Same as the last one, honestly, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. So. Yeah, alright, here we go. Oh, we check up last time, so. Take these laps off, please. It's just free anxiety. Just set up a lemonade stand outside that said, sell free anxiety. That's what we are here. That's what we're doing. Too interested in bump drafting in lap seven. I hope the guy behind me feels the same way. I am interested in staying in a line and taking a third place finish if I need to. Uh oh, someone died. <laughs> someone has suffered the internet curse. That sucks. tough, but it is nerve-wracking. don't see done. much of an outside line out there for me. Not close to us anyway, so not going to have to think about that anytime soon, it looks like. Just going to line. Going. It's 
looks like we have hit 192 right about there. Can't really look over all that often because I'm trying to make sure I'm on this guy's bumper but not into his bumper. Gotta, gotta tread that fine line. Oh, I saw 193. It's too fast. Easy on the throttle. Can't have that. Alright. Guys seem to be nice and stable. Get those uh, lower strength of field races. You got. Oh, don't let me eat my words. Um, you got guys swerving all over the place. Can't seem to control their car. Never quite get that. It's, gotta really less is more you just gotta keep it steady it might just be that uh, some guys have bad connections and make it look like they're swerving all over the place but that was third I'll drive in a straight line this whole race I don't care well yeah More casualties in the back. Rip in peace. We've made it about a third of the way through the race, assuming we can do the pace laps correctly. Accomplishment. In my mind, I'm looking at I'm looking at, you know, that classic computer file moving bar, you know, where the paper airplane flies out from the file and then unfolds and goes into a folder. Yeah, that's what I'm imagining when I'm thinking about the progress of this race. Looks like I got a smooch on my windshield. The pit road's open. Compelling, isn't it? It's so distracting. Where's my tear off? I can't race in these conditions. That looks like bird poop. That would be a great thing for iRacing to add, just the random chance for bird poop. How can you call yourself a real simulator if you don't have bird poop? Also, how come we don't see debris on the track? How come we don't get like a hot dog wrapper sticking to the front of your grill and making you overheat? Is this even real racing? Especially if we go to Martinsville. There should be hot dog wrappers covering the whole track. You should have to swim through hot dog wrappers. Get some more, uh, we just, we need some more ambient things in the game, that's all I'm saying. Get, like, streakers running onto the track. Like, it, it shouldn't be a common thing. It's not a common thing in real life. Maybe once every, like, 50,000 races. Just have some guy climb in the fence or something. Have a guy come out to a guy with a Matt Kenseth scheme and ask for an autograph. Call me back whenever iRacing has that. Then we'll talk about calling it a simulator and not a game. <laughs> what else should Talladega have? Um, oh, one thing we could add. Uh, where was it? Chicagoland, I think. Big orange rolling down the uh, down the track in qualifying. Gotta have that. Fun little app game I have, uh, Draft Masters 2. Fun game, I recommend it. It's super simple, but it's uh, by an indie developer. It's kind of low key. It's a fun little game to waste time. You just, you just like, it's basically this, <laughs> but top down. And uh, you're doing like drafts and stuff. There's like a one in 
1,000 chance or something like that to have the, the orange rolling on the apron as you're driving in the game. That's a fun little Easter egg. I think they're adding that soon. I don't think they did, but it, uh, they like posted about it on uh, Twitter. I thought that was funny. I recommend that game. That game's some good, simple fun. A little app game to play whenever you've got some... When you got some time, but not a lot of time, you know, maybe you're out somewhere waiting. Doctor's office. One of those kind of games. Got a big turnout here at Talladega. Yeehaw. Believe it or not, there's not much to say whenever there's, uh, we're just pacing. Kind of falling asleep, but uh, it looks like we did make it a third of the way through the race. Congratulations to everyone. I mean, not everyone. Not everyone made it through. I mean, people got behind us. Let's take a look at that. I mean, I guess we can't see like people that are damaged, but it looks like uh, as of right now, there's like 24 people back there, so we lost about eight people, I guess. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. The the uh, floor is uh, rising, I guess. Lowest we can finish. No tire spin? No, of course not. Second gear was fine. We'll do that again. Maybe if we uh, get a good enough start, we can surpass numero nine up there but I don't even know if I want that because I kind of want to whenever there is another wreck restart in third kind of prefer that so I can have my coveted low line it has served us so well so far play it safe Speaking of safe, feeling pretty good about my uh, safety rating in all my series right now. I think I'm 450 or higher in every uh, every safety safety rating, every discipline, something like that, or maybe like 444 in one of them or something like that. Pretty happy with that. Um, just the last race I did was uh, ARCA at uh, Phoenix. That was a clean race, so got me above 450 in paved oval. Which at the time was my lowest at like Get four, ready. Going three green. or something like that. Um, that was pretty cool. Now we gotta keep an eye on cow power. Post car is off. Time to do your job. I hear first gear. on my nose, but I didn't really want it that much anyway, like I said, so go ahead and take it. Not sure why you even take that risk. I guess uh, if you're that worried about being shuffled back. No one will be daring enough to try to start an outside line and we can just cruise here. Kind of like that uh, boring race that I won. A fixed at Daytona. No one ever bothers trying to make a second line, so we're just like, okay, we'll take it. They almost look like they're trying to get around behind us. Not sure if that's the case, or if they just kind of it off or whatever, but keeping an eye on them. Gotta figure out what they're doing. Trying to relax. 
Have a good old day at the racetrack. Funny how, like, one of the fastest tracks you can be on. I don't know if that's the case anymore with the packages they run, but one of the fastest still. It's funny how it's like the most, the least intense is the racing we're doing. Is he thinking about it? Are they going to establish an outside line? That'd be pretty wacky. That'd really shake things up. I mean, I'm set to get a massive I rating game just by finishing third. I don't really belong in third. But Super Speedway Racing is what it is. So. I'm sure guys will start making crazy moves, maybe 10 to go, 5 to go, something like that. For now we're just uh, trying to tick off the laps and, I don't know, whatever they're doing back there, wrecking somehow, but... You know, they can have their fun back there. Have to get a thumbnail of myself. If, uh, we're just gonna be running a single file line all the time. But uh, I mean, I usually try to get a thumbnail where I'm in it. But if I don't really have anything interesting happen to me specifically during a race, like dodge a wreck or something, and usually I just grab whoever had the most intense <laughs> wreck or something and uh, get the good side, you know. <laughs> I usually try to get myself in it though, but it's not too important. It's funny, um, if this is, you know, they, you know, the real drivers say, like, oh, it's pretty accurate to how it feels. You know, the eye racing, that's why we use it for practice. It's like, is this really what it would be like? I mean, obviously there's some clear differences from being in a real car, like the G-forces that you can't replicate, the bumping around and shaking, all that nonsense. Uh, you can't, you're not going to be able to replicate that. Sitting at home in the air conditioning, that's another thing. You're not replicating the Alabama heat. That would be pretty intense right about now. But, uh, you know, in terms of car handling and stuff, they say they've got it pretty close to what it really is, so it makes me wonder if I were to get into one of these in a real car or whatever, you know, would I be able to hold the bottom line as well as I can on my racing? Probably not, but maybe. Well, I just wonder about that, because obviously I've never been in a real car before, as cool as that would be. It's my naive of me to think I would be uh, not crashing immediately or something. <laughs> I don't know. The guys behind still seem like they're trying to like get a run or something. Because he can't, he keeps kind of like backing up, like he wants to try to get a run and maybe try to zoom on by. It doesn't look like they've had it. They will get it done at all. I don't know if that's what they're doing or. Just forward, so they're moving f back and forth. I don't know if others get as you know bored with this as I do. I mean, obviously in real life, holy cow, you're going 190. <laughs> That's never boring, no matter what. And you're like inches from another car, but you know there's no danger. And same way, so. That's another one of the many things that will never be captured here, <laughs> unless you've got something that injures you if you get wrecked. Just uh, a machine with a boxing glove on it punches you in the face if you wreck. Simulated injury. <laughs> well, we don't get that. We don't get the fear. 
you don't have the pressure of thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment that you could potentially ruin you know your career on the line no, none of that we're just doing a fixed race at Talladega on the computer so I forgot what I was trying to say <laughs> I forgot what my point was but uh, I'm getting more uh, bird poo on the windshields Dots. I guess I heard someone say that that's like tire uh, scraps or whatever you call it. Tire fall off, whatever. Rubber coming off the car in front of you. That's what that's supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just dirty windshield. Bugs. Bugs ending up on the windshield. That takes us back to that whole ambient thing. When we go to Darlington or something, we should have mosquitoes all over the <laughs> all over the windshield. It's like I hear they get some bad mosquitoes down there. So you get them smushing all over your windshield for that authentic experience. It would be kind of funny if we had to every race sit through like the national anthem and the invocation <laughs> at the start of every race. Sit there and wait for all that every time. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. That'd be funny one time and then immediately annoying and everybody would uninstall iRacing <laughs> by the second time. Thought it was the the neatest thing when I first did iRacing back in 2013, you know, my only exposure to video game racing, you know, virtual racing, was, uh, what I looked like, the NASCAR Thunder games or whatever, you know, the EA games. Uh, I thought it was the neatest thing that you had to actually do pace laps, and you had to, like, do the formation lap and everything. That was pretty crazy to me. I'm like, whoa, you actually have to do that part. It's not, like, automatic. And then that kind of blew my mind. <laughs> Whenever I was a, a wee lad looking into iRacing for the first time. I remember being so excited when I found out about iRacing <clears throat> at that time. Because I never knew it existed. And uh, I only ever played single player console games. And it was always pretty underwhelming. Because I would always beat the computer every time on the highest difficulty or whatever. And just. And let, with the exception of certain tracks where they'd be overpowered and uh, we didn't have the internet at the time that could support um, like I don't remember exactly what it was I don't know if I even knew how it worked at the time like hooking up my PlayStation to the internet or something it just was never really a thing I don't remember exactly why I never did it but once I found out that like you could go on the computer and do racing against real people and it was like full fields and uh, you gotta do your pace laps and it was like taken super seriously like you had safety rating and you got rating based on how well you did and uh, it was tr trying to be like the most accurate thing possible and Dale Jr. talked about it like I was so excited but <laughs> I didn't have my own money so I had to be like mom <laughs> can I get this thing it's called iRacing and then of course it was like only one month and then I didn't feel comfortable asking repeatedly for the same thing. They were like, didn't I already pay for that? And I, I didn't feel comfortable asking for it over and over again, so. Plus uh, my anxiety made it to where like I made a mistake early on and then I just, I was afraid to continue. That was my early uh, racing experience <laughs> in a nutshell. And I'm still anxious to this day, but not as anxious. Feeling a little anxious right now looking at uh, these lap cars. They seem like they're being good. Staying out oh, there. God. Keeping it a little too tight for no reason. Oh, Not sure why you would just go to the top, but. Who am I but the 26 car on the field? How many laps we got to go? I'm bored. 
Not really. I'm not bored. I'm scared. But uh, I do want this to be over. Let's see. Lap 28 now. What's that? 7 with the go. Eight to go. Uh, are they going to start doing things at any point? Still haven't seen much of an outside line form. Almost looks like our pace is going up because now we're at 196 on the back stretch. I was looking at it before, I think we were not going to go 196, by the way. I was like, I think we were 194 before, but no, I think we were 196. I noticed, I guess, on this fixed set, you don't have to really worry about uh, overheating because I've been behind this this guy the whole time pretty much and never had to worry about uh, overheating, so. Don't have to worry about that, I guess. This guy's getting kind of close to our bumper. Sure hope he does not tap my bumper. It's getting tight. I don't know why. Okay. It's kind of scary when the guy in front of you kind of like checking up so they're coming towards you and then the guy behind you is getting closer <laughs> and you're like I'm about to be a between a rock and a hard place here. What are you thinking? I mean, the thing is, everyone's scared to try to make that move to the outside because if you go out there and no one decides to follow you, then guess what? You're in the back now. So that's kind of a thing that. You know, in real life, you've got teams, so the teams would be like, all right, well, pulling out here, all the Fords, or maybe it's like Joe Gibbs Racing, we're all going to try to take this middle line or something, blah, 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 whatever. Here, we're all individuals. Every one of us is Alan Kowicki with our own team. So we're not, uh, we don't have these established friendships or whatever. So, it's a very uh, big risk to try to take, uh, go out there and make that move. So you might not even see that until the last lap, and even then, guys might just take the free spot instead of trying to establish something on the outside, which, you know, is obviously hard to do. Even if you get equal number of cars on the outside, you're not the shortest distance around, so... It's a risk. And I don't know if it's a risk uh, anyone's going to take by the time this thing is over. We're already, what, five laps to go? Like I said, I'm cool with that. If I get my third place here, I'll be smiling. Still a chance I get wrecked by people trying to be heroes at the end, though. And it's starting to get that time where guys are going to start becoming superheroes. They're all in the phone booth, changing into a... Uh, Ooh, changing into their super suit. Honey, where's my super suit? Is that how the line goes? I don't know. That's a good movie. Is it time to start thinking about actually racing? Yeah, probably, because I think this guy's trying to bump draft me. I don't know why. I don't know where he plans on going. We gotta be faster in a street mode. This straight line has to be faster. Good boy. Here we go. You can kind of feel the tension growing. Just minute things and the way guys are driving, you can kind of tell things are getting more tense. It's on my head, I don't know, but only a couple laps to go. This is when it gets interesting, maybe. Or maybe we just stay in a straight line on them. Okay. Is he bumping him? Bump drafting? This guy behind me trying to get a run? Go back a little bit, looks like.
question is, do I follow if the nine pokes himself out? I'm gonna take the uh, easy approach. I'll be the boring guy. That's me, boring guy. That's what I'm changing my channel name to. Boring guy racing. Maybe I'll pretend I'll jump out so that way he gets hung out to dry. And then I'll twirl my curly evil mustache. This guy's trying to get around again. Sure looks like it. They're establishing that outside line. Are they doing it? One flag, one more left to go. Are you gonna be in a straight line? Okay, Tom's just really keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Probably what I'm gonna name the video. He's checking up hard. I don't know what he wants from me. Is we push him, I guess? <laughs> wow, that was fun. Good job. Very good Wee. job. Whoop. Shake and bake with the nine car. <laughs> mm, great. Yeah. Was what it was. Good win, nine. Shake and bake. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Good old Talladega Nights reference for you. <laughs> okay, well, at least something happened at the end. Too hard with three of them. Four of them. <sighs> well, I don't think anything happened. I don't think anything happened at all. I made a couple of wrecks in the back, so. Uh, Aw, the corgi got dented. How dare. Uh-oh, bump drafting gone wrong. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm still laughing. That's, uh... Andre, How sad again. that was. <laughs> I hit the I'll jackpot of eye reading, I'm sure, but I mean. Boy, am I glad I qualified. Uh, see, I thought this was Malik's, like backup account or whatever but Malik was also in space so now my my worldview has been ruptured I don't know who is who anyone is anymore I can't do that I can't believe that didn't ooh, I couldn't believe he didn't turn that blue card but then that happened uh, it's kind of just all over the place this is the guy that uh, disconnected earlier well, so he was a lap down too Unfortunately, I, I recognize this guy. He's been trouble before, unfortunately. It looks like he was trouble again. He just turns down on the guy and then... A little bit of net code, but I mean... <laughs> he shouldn't be driving all over the place anyway. That was it. That was everything that happened. I'm sorry that was so boring. This is marginally better than uh, the race that I led every lap from the pole. 
but I mean that's just that's what this package is. That's what this is, unfortunately. But um, I'll take my eight billion I rating I probably got. Uh, I probably got a good bit of safety rating. I'm probably at four nine nine now or something. Now nah, maybe not that close. Probably like four seven or something. But um, if you like super speedway racing, if that's your cup of tea, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, at least I can enjoy a good finish. So I hope you have a good day. See you next time.